Surprise Trojans, the story of the Trojan horse by Joan Holub, illustrated by Danny Jones. Thousands of years ago, the Greeks played a big trick on the Trojans during a war. Greek writers say it happened like this. King Menelaus ruled the city of Sparta in Greece. His queen was named Helen. Men Menelaus. King Priam, Priam ruled the city of Troy in Turkey, and he had a son named Paris. One day, Paris fell in love with Helen and took her to Troy. This made King Menelaus mad, and he asked two Greek kings named Odysseus and Agamemnon to help get her back. The three kings and their Greek army sailed to Troy. When they landed, soldiers called Trojans ran out of the city to meet them and a battle began. Swords clashed, arrows flew, it was war. The Trojan War went on for 10 years. Many soldiers fought and died on both sides. Odysseus wanted to win. It would not be easy. There was a tall, strong stone wall around Troy to protect it, and Trojan guards stood atop the wall to watch for enemies. If only the Greeks could get through the wall. The Greeks were good at building wooden ships, and that gave Odysseus an idea. His soldiers cut down trees and sawed them into boards, and they built a big wood frame. Then they covered the frame with a skin of wood boards. What were they building? The Trojans did not know. The Greeks had built a horse statue. It was giant size, maybe even taller than the wall around Troy. The horse was hollow inside and had a door on its belly. Odysseus and some soldiers climbed through the door and they hid inside the horse's belly. The rest of the Greeks sailed away, all except one. His name was Sinon. He hid near the horse and waited. When the Trojans saw the Greek ships go, they were happy. They had won the war, or so they thought. They ran down to the battlefield and they spotted the horse. Some Trojans wanted to burn it and others voted to chop it up and, or drown it in the sea. And Sinon spoke up and he told them the horse was a gift for the goddess Athena. He said the Greeks had built it so she would keep them safe on their trip home. This was not true. The Greeks had built the horse to fool the Trojans and the Trojans fell for the trick. They decided it would be bad luck to ruin this special gift. King Priam's daughter, Cassandra, said the horse would bring trouble, but no one listened. The Trojan, Trojans rolled logs under the big horse and added wheels, and they pushed and pulled and brought the horse through the gate into the city of Troy. That night, the Trojans had a party. They sang and danced, they ate and drank, and soon they fell asleep, and the night got quiet and dark. Creak! The door in the horse's belly opened. Odysseus and his Greek soldiers slid down a rope. They landed on a street. They had made it inside the walls of Troy at last. The Greeks climbed up the wall and lit torches. It was a secret sign. The rest of the Greek soldiers were waiting on a nearby island. They had not gone home after all, and now they rushed back to Troy, ran through the gates. It was a surprise attack. Some Trojans got away, but many others were killed, and the whole city of Troy burned down. The Greeks had won the war. They found Helen and sailed for home, but it would take Odysseus 10 more years to get back to Greece. Because of the tro Trojan horse, there is a famous saying today. It goes like this, beware of Greeks bearing gifts. <laughs>